to another episode of Salt Air. My name is Tom Hedge and I'm the creator of Salt. Today I wanted to answer a question that is very, very frequently asked. And that is, why do we have execution modules and state modules? So many people enter into Salt from the perspective of configuration management. And they start to look at, hey, how am I going to extend Salt's configuration management system? And we come back to them and we say, all right, write an execution module that does the work and a state module that uses that execution module to express it in an item potent way. And they say, and they start to grumble and say, well, why do I have to write two things? All I want to do is extend your configuration management system. And so I want to explain why this system is in place the way it is and why it's a good thing. And also that SALT goes well beyond just being configuration management. And this is one of those lessons that hopefully through this lens, I can properly convey. When we come back and we look at SALT, what we're actually looking at is a complete automation framework. And as an automation framework, I'm not just trying to set up a system. We're trying to maintain systems and maintain interfaces and maintain devices over long periods of time. And that maintenance involves setup, but it also involves dealing with the day-to-day -day tasks that are associated with maintaining complex systems. And so we break down the maintenance of long-term complex systems into a concept that I like to call flow, state, and event. Now this means that in the maintenance of a system, in the management of a system, you have to interface with that system in an on-demand fashion. You have to interface with that system in a stateful fashion, meaning we're going to make sure that that system exists in its proper state. And we also need to interface with that system on an eventful fashion so that we can say that certain events are occurring on this system and we need to be able to be aware of them and we need to potentially react to them. Modules and states break down into this model. The execution modules in SALT are made for the on-demand behaviors of the system. And it makes sense to avoid code reuse by making sure that the functionality that is available to a state module that expresses itself in an item potent way is also available to SALT's remote execution system. Why would we write all of that information in a state module when it could very well be useful to be executed in a one-off fashion through the flow of managing a system? Finally, the event system becomes an important component here. The event system inside of SALT is based on the concept that we call beacons. Beacons allow us to listen for specific events on all of these systems. And then those specific events get rebroadcast up to the salt master. When you are writing a beacon, you have access to all of these modules. And you have access to all of these modules throughout all of the 30 more plus pluggable interfaces that exist inside of salt. And so the end result is if we write execution modules, then the code that you present is very, very easily reusable. And the plugin system inside of SALT is exposed and expressed to the rest of the infrastructure that we have for automation. But if you only write them for states, then it significantly limits what you can do with those underlying functions. Because if you only write them as states, then it becomes much more difficult to take the components of that work and utilize them to author beacons. Now, if we come back and we look at beacons, all of this creates this great ecosystem. It comes full circle because beacons are able to send those events up to a salt master and hit that master's reactor. That reactor now has the ability to interface with systems on a completely automatic basis through a flow-based interface or an item-based interface so that we can make decisions and changes in whichever way makes the most sense for the event that has occurred. 
inside of SALT, we're trying very hard to make sure that we not only give you a system that's easy to use, but also a system that gives you sufficient flexibility that it can solve problems outside that limited realm of configuration management, but that it can solve all the problems that you really need to solve when maintaining a system. It's so easy to look at the maintenance of a system or a device and think of it as once it is set up a certain way, I'm done. The real world, unfortunately, is not so simple. And so that is why SALT exposes these different interfaces in such a way that gives you what we hope to be the maximum amount of power when managing those interfaces and those systems. Thanks. And until next time, keep watching.